faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. Making a choice, I tell you in the realm of the spirit, God is waiting on you to see you manifest his nature. Mm. The devil is waiting on you to use Don't be among the people who don't have conviction. If you don't have conviction, your family member will say, Why are you not getting married? Why are you not working in that company? You have to answer them. Yes. In walking with God, you have to answer them by faith. You answer them in love. You don't yes. answer them in yeah. fighting. Yeah. Atmosphere of love. That's only what I can just sing. Awesome God. Mighty God. We give you praise, mighty God. We give you praise, awesome God. Lift your hands. You are highly lifted up, awesome God. You are highly lifted up. Mighty God. Atmosphere of Love. Hello and welcome to Atmosphere of Love, a daily experience of God's blessings and miracles. Mm -hmm. We're talking about walking with God. When we walk with God, what is the criteria? The Bible says the just shall live by faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. We want to open today's broadcast, today's telecast with Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. I'm Apostle Edmonds and with me in the studio. Hello, I'm Prophetess Joanna and I welcome you to the atmosphere of love. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. As a prophetic yes, word. For Hallelujah. a new beginning. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read verse 6. But fa without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must, must believe, believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Bible declares yes. that we must believe that God is. Yeah. We must believe that God is. Now, this is something that we should not uh, condition God. It's something that we have to bend to his condition. Yeah. Why? Because here in the scripture it says clearly that he rewards He's a rewarder. Mm. Rewarder can also be your answer for your prayers. Mm. So he re answers your prayer. He gives you reward for whatever you desire or your, your call, your ministry and everything. His condition is here. We see that you diligently seek him. It yes. says. It's not that he coming to you. He said, first you draw nigh to me, I draw nigh to you. That's what the Bible says. So condition, you have to diligently, means you must work hard mm. to seek him. Mm. You must work hard to search him, find mm. him in the scriptures. Hallelujah. Because the scriptures unveil God to you. Mm. So you have to search and find him in the scriptures. It's mm. not hard. If your heart is open, he opens it to you. Hallelujah. Yes, I want us to read from the message translation. I'm imagining how that translation will give it to us. It's so beautiful. Hebrews 11, verse 6. six. Mm. The message translation, you have to listen to this. Verse 6, he said, um, By an act of faith, Enoch skipped death completely. Yeah. They looked all over and couldn't find him because mm. God had taken him. We know on the basis of reliable testimony that before he was taken, he pleased God. Mm. Now, this is the verse 6 that we want How to read to now. Uh, it's <laughs> impossible to please God apart <laughs> from faith. Right. And why? Because anyone who wants to approach God must believe Amen. both that he exists and Hallelujah. he cares Amen. enough to respond to yes. those who seek him. Amen. That's wonderful. Yes. He cares enough to respond to those who, who seek, seek him. him. It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what your condition is. But I just want to make you know that as you seek God in faith, 
knowing that he mm. exists and he cares enough he cares enough he cares enough to respond mm. that is the actually the actual meaning when he says that rewards yes in the king james version he said he is the rewarder, rewarder. of them that diligently seek him in the message translation he said he cares enough yes he cares enough to respond to, to those, those who, seek, who him. seek him he cares enough to respond to those who seek him yeah. God is a responder. Yes. He responds. He's not just your situation that makes him respond. You no, know, more than more than we waiting for an answer from God, mm. he waits to give. Yes. It's more he his responds. desire of his response is more than our desire to receive. That's why when we pray for the sick, I am very very convinced that God wants them healed. Reason being he is the one who planned the salvation yeah. plan. He is the one who paid for sickness and disease. He is the one who blew or allowed our chastisement to come on Jesus Christ. And now, by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Mm. I am convinced. Yes. If you are convinced, wherever you are, whether you are a minister of God or a believer, or yeah. whoever you are, that situation, that sickness must be healed. Yes. As I am talking now, God is more willing than you are wanting yes. to be healed. Right. He planned it. Yeah. That's why it makes me feel very bad and even feel like crying when I hear religious people say, Father, if it is your will, heal this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or they pray, someone calls them to come and pray for someone in the hospital and they pray, Father, should I go, should I not go? What are you talking about? God is more willing than your presence there. Jesus has died. I was buried it. and resurrected and seated at the right hand of the Father. For you to ask the Father again for what is finished, you better mm -hmm. wake up and walk with God. Yeah. Now, yesterday we were talking about facing challenges. Mm. In facing challenges, faith is required. And standing on the word of God is required. You will not chicken out. When your relations ask you, when situation ask you, who do you believe? Don't put your head down and say, praise the Lord and speak in your mind, I believe in Jesus. No, you have to speak out. There is a time to stand for the, for the, for the word of God. Now, you are sharing. You spoke to your father that <coughs> yeah, he asked Jesus you. is the son of yes. God. Yes. And what did he say? He was, uh, uh, when he asked me, uh, I... The, the spirit in me said that, are you ashamed of speaking who Jesus is? That question, who is Jesus, mm. was very <laughs> striking <laughs> striking to me. And I recognized the voice of the devil there, mm. Mm. interrogating me. So I said, Jesus is Lord. He is God. So I spoke to him that What way. was his response? And immediately he began to ask me three questions following that question. He said, oh. Jesus, he called me Jesus. Wow. I said, so you are Jesus, he said, mockingly. And I knew it was the voice of the devil through him because he was not in his senses clearly. So the enemy used him to speak like that. And he said, okay, if you are Jesus, I have a pain in my tooth. Heal me, heal me, he said. So I don't know. Inside, already that spirit, my spirit was alert, awake. And I could know that my spirit is speaking. And he said, and I said to him that, do not test the Lord, I said. And then he said, okay, fine. Then he said, okay, leave all these things and come with me and work with me. We have a company because it's not working. Mm. You are running away from it. <laughs> in the you name know, of religion? Yeah, in the, he said in the name of religion or whatever, you are running away, you are trying to go and brainwash people and all that. He said, come and work with me. I will give you a good position in the company and all he said, it's my dad's company I'm not seeking for a position and he said I will give you a position you come and work with me and leave all these things see you are educated you are an engineer why are you doing like this when he said that I said no God has called me and I am going to serve him Amen. I told him so that was like another question you know <laughs> and finally after all these questions and all he was very angry at me and uh, he came out he slapped me he shouted on me he spat on me many things connived and happened and uh, what did you do it happened and i was just standing and i was very bold 
and he said you are despoiling everybody in my family he said see you are spoiling all your sisters and all i said they are already spoiled by jesus they all believe in him so i began to ask each one I of wonder, them do I you wonder. believe in jesus speak now i said and they said yes and they put their head down everybody said yes and he couldn't do anything he was angry he said i want to kill you i'll get something to kill you he was looking for something <laughs> to throw at me <laughs> i understand his condition without knowing god he is so Uh, devastate it is so devastating to he see he looks as though his daughter is gone betrayed. insane so he said you want to go out on the streets and go and convince Beg. people and go and uh, brainwash people about this jesus think you are going to destroy your life what are you doing and all he just shouted on me and then finally he told me okay fine if you decide to do this then today you have to make a decision now and it was very late in the night it was after 12 to 1 o'clock he told me these words he said make a choice you want the family or you want jesus make a choice he said then i said daddy mm. i want jesus i'm going to serve him he said then you have to leave the house get out of this house you are not you cannot stay in this house i want to read a scripture let's go to the book of max gospel because of what you shared max gospel chapter 10 Mark's Gospel chapter 10 Let's read from verse 29 And Jesus answered and said Verily I say unto you There, there is, is no, no man, man that has left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels but he shall receive an hundredfold mm. now in this time mm. houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions mm. and in the world to come eternal life amen amen hallelujah so here i see the he scripture said, being fulfilled in my said, life choose yes in our walk with god we have to come to choice. the point where we choose yeah You have to choose like he said in the Old Testament I put before you life and death blessing and cursing choose the, yeah. this day life yeah choose you this day the blessings of God so we have to come to a place where we have to choose yeah when you are making a choice I tell you in the realm of the spirit God is waiting on you to see you manifest his nature mm. devil is waiting on you to use you to destroy yeah. and put shame to your God He is looking and waiting on you because after years of this we encountered with demonic spirits talking about these experiences he said you made that choice so we fear you you know so this kind of choice i made it was not very hard because i had the conviction i told you how i started mm. it's not just about me it can be a you also it's how you respond how you discipline yourself and make decisions for your life and have convictions All right. for god speak now before we go for the break to someone who is in the middle of decision yeah <clears throat> wherever you are whoever you are you who are making a decision for your life especially who are standing for jesus and you may be facing so much trouble struggles persecutions all over i tell you it is already spoken in the bible and it is the will of god it is a pathway of glorifying the father that is in heaven and i tell you stand bible says having done all stand keep standing and i tell you in the midst of this god is right with you there don't think you are all alone because you are not happy at this moment you are not everybody is not praising you everybody is not uh, you know honoring you but you are put to shame they are talking about you and you are passing through this kind of a situation and uh, god is, and don't think that god is not with you i tell you god is right there with Amen. you he's so eager to know what decision you are going to make because Amen. he has put his will into you your will is so important Amen. so make a decision today what you are going to follow Amen. choose and make the right choice Amen. and god backs you up and the devil is put to shame as you do that don't give up on god he is with you amen glory to god now we we have come to the first segment we will be right back uh we'll be right back atmosphere of love now the lord told me andar ente sonare from now on ipothilende begin to pray for those watching your cds yarala avu cd paakrangala avulkaga jabigun sonare begin to pray for those watching the program yarala program pa paakra avulkaga jabigun sonare this is the first one i want to do idu tha modhalad na panna verumbrana jesus is lord 
She is sister Philomena Shantaram, 66 years old, and she is from Vivekanagar, Bangalore. So she was saying that she had a severe chest pain early in the morning and it was off and on for five hours. So with all that pain, sh she said like, you no, know, she heard a voice saying her she has to go and get hospitalized in Philomena's and check what is the condition. But it's because she trusted Lord Jesus Christ, she has come to the service and which as Apostle Edmonds was praying in the service, she said immediately that pain left her and she is completely delivered from that chest pain. Sister, this is the miracle that Jesus has done for you. We would encourage you that you have to make the word of God standard for your life. Amen. BTS has been amazing. It has helped me understand God's word better. BTS has been so amazing for me. Like I, I learned many things about love, uh, the Holy Spirit. BTS has been uh, a blessing for me, and uh, my life has changed to this uh, BTS. BTS and BTS made me uh, to understand what the world is, and what is love means. All my financial problems have been saved. I'm very much happy. Uh, no. BTS Basic Training Center organized uh, by uh, church was really, really nice. It has been, uh, um, it has been a blessing. It's been a life transforming. I attended the BTS classes and it's been really amazing. I'm grateful people have taken the initiative of starting the BTS classes and helping others to know the word of God. And the chapters that we studied in BTS has been really helpful to the enrichment course of BTS. It's really While I was going through this BTS class, I could see myself doing all that I learned, and it's really helped me to, and it's refreshed me, and and I know I'm going to do better, and I'm going to do great for all that I've learned, and uh, every in every area of my life, the things that I was thinking, and it's really. Welcome back to Atmosphere of Love, where we experience daily blessings of God's miracles. Now, we're talking about faith, okay, under the topic, walking with God. Mm. This is very, very important. This is very nice. Now, you spoke to your earthly father, your dad, uh, who Jesus is, and you stood, and you, you saw God moved on your behalf. Yeah. And for the next one year, things were turning that around night, in your uh, life. That night, when he told me to leave, I said, okay, fine, I will leave. And all I know is I sat down with my sister. He went to bed. He told me it was a serious decision that yes, he made. Yes, yes, because you he can't get you into that now. Leave. You get into yeah. that now. Our viewers yeah. will be suspended. I want to get <laughs> into that tomorrow. In my life, uh, I was working in a company, international company, and... Uh, a newspaper came up and in, in the newspaper they were debating on who is righteous mm -hmm. and everyone in the company were asked uh, are you righteous mr. so-and-so uh, they said no 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 nobody's righteous yeah, and they I asked them. so they went through the whole table and they got to my table I was working on my computer when they started speaking to me and they said mr. Edmonds I happen to be the youngest mm -hmm. among the staff that time. Mr. Edmonds, uh, uh, are you righteous? <laughs> what is your uh, opinion yes. about that? <laughs> then I stopped my work. I stood up. It was very uh, good opportunity for me. I spoke out very loud and I said, I am not just righteous. These were the words I said. I said, I am righteous with the righteousness of the God that mm. you all serve. One man shouted, Abomination! <laughs> it's an old man. 
and uh, he said, Edmond, sit down, you're a small boy, shut up. So I didn't say anything. <laughs> all through the week, they were all talking about Edmonds. Because it means that he is saying that his righteousness is like Jesus. Yes, because they didn't the understand. Bible, they didn't understand. To say that I am like Jesus, I am like him. I said That was how it sounded yes, to them. I said I am not just righteous. I am I righteous the with the righteousness that the Jesus God has. you yes. serve. His yes. righteousness, I have that righteousness. <laughs> that was too big for yes. them to take. Why I believe the word? Faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. Mm. Faith is laying hold on what revelation gives to you. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence the evidence of things, of things not seen. seen. So, they may not be able to see righteousness in me, but God has given me his yeah. righteousness. I want to read this to you. Probably you are there in your home. And you are thinking, how could someone say that yeah. they are the righteousness of God? Yeah. So I, I, for more than a week, week. these people yeah. were Debating. they were talking every corner. The secretary and the and the uh, deputy they they took this to the deputy director, to the vice uh, chairman. They took this to him, and uh, I became a headline in the office everywhere. Edmund, 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 Edmund. If I come in. Mm. It's Everyone like people say today that uh, nobody can be perfect. Yes. Who can be? Only God is perfect. Yes. No man can be perfect. Yes. They Something say it today. Like they say it today. So uh, they said all those things in the, in the office. And I just take my bag, whatever. I go to my locker and <laughs> serve myself my beverage. I drink. I eat my biscuits. And we always share in the office. For that week, everybody left me alone. I was like a leprous man. <laughs> I was like I'm contaminated <laughs> man. Who did he think he is? Who does he think he is? He said that he is righteous. Sometimes, and not only that, yeah. with the righteousness of the God I serve. <gasps> and they were all uh, uh, offended. Mm. They were from different backgrounds. Ugly can, this, that, different backgrounds. Even the hot chair Pentecostal was there. And uh, they were all... Uh, looking at me in a certain way. So they couldn't be it. And they said to me, Mr. Why Edmonds, do you say so? yes, the eldest among them with gray hair. I mean, after a week's time. After a week, after so much uh, malice yeah. and separation. They gathered and they asked they, you, then why said, do you say you why have do the you say you are? I said, you should have asked me this the same day. I will tell you. <laughs> they didn't ask yeah. me the and same day. And I took them to the scripture saints. This scripture that says, okay, I'll just go Second there. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 5, 5, 21. One of my eye-opening scripture. I said, now you take your Bibles, I said, turn to Second Corinthians 5, 21. You could see all types of Bible. Catholic Bible, Pentecostal Bible, Dusty King Bible. James <laughs> Bible, Cockroach Bible, all types of Bible. We're just coming up. Bibles that had no Genesis, no Exodus, <laughs> Bibles that had no Revelation. All types of Bible were coming out. So they pull up their Bibles and they turn to this verse and read it for yeah. us. Honey. But he has made him to be seen for us. For us. Who knew he no made sin. Jesus to be seen for, for us. us. Mm. Who knew no sin. Mm. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. See that? Hallelujah. We might be made, made the righteousness of, of God, God. Not of our Christ, church. Not Christ. of what we do. Yes. Righteousness of God. And the man said, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, is this why you said that? Small boy. That's what said. it means. But that's what it means. But that's how people read. They read it in a uh, with a goggle that you can't see. Religious it. goggles. Yes, and you cannot understand, and the truth cannot get to you, and it doesn't work. But it's so painful. You know why I remember this? Because you said you stood, you spoke before your dad. There would always come a time for every one of us to speak. Yeah. Mine was in the office. Yes. And I tell you this to cut long story short. They took me to the director. Mm -hmm. They said they are going to take me to the director. I'm going to defend myself why I said I was righteous. I was imagining a crusade held in my company. <laughs> I was imagining a Bible study because then I wasn't a pastor. I was imagining a, oh, I was imagining all the stuff, 
all the security men, everybody seated, and Edmund stands up and say, why do you say you are righteous? I will preach the whole gospel to them, how Jesus came, what he came to do. They be listening, they want to hear. But he couldn't come to that yeah. because the man finally came to me and said, why did you say you are righteous? So I explained to them. Explain. Don't be among the people who don't have conviction. If you don't have conviction, your family member will say, why are you not getting married? Why are you not working in that company? You have to answer them. Yes. In walking with God, you have to answer them by faith. You answer them in love. You don't yes. answer them in yeah. fighting. Yeah. I didn't fight. Yeah. Even you were spared upon, yeah. you were hit, you didn't fight, didn't fight, but you spoke with conviction. It's time to speak with conviction. No matter what you're facing, it's time to speak with conviction. Mm, this is powerful. Glory. Glory. Whew, this is wonderful. Wonderful. It's time to pray. I want you to pray for the, for the viewers out there, those who are facing such situation. Yes. Those who are out of their homes now. As we are here in the yeah. studio, they are out of their homes because of standing for the gospel. Yeah. Those, and this one is very serious, what I want to say. Those whose church members are running away from them because they stood for the gospel and their family is lifting red flag. Mm. So now people are running away from them because they feel if they say hello to that brother, Persecution. they'll get persecuted. <laughs> what do you have to say to them? Say and pray yeah. for them. I want to tell you again to continue to stand and trust in God. God is with you in that situation. He has not left you alone. Amen. So Let's let pray. us pray. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every one of them, whether they are in ministry or in their academics, whatever they are facing right now in their life, with various differences, whatever they are facing, standing for Christ. Whatever situation they are passing through, as God is with me here right now, and as He was with me in my walk with God, Amen. He is with you right now there. Amen. Lord, reveal to them that you are with, with them. Amen. Father, strengthen them in those situations. Amen. Give them that strength, that courage, that boldness to stand for you. Amen. Let their heart be open to understand and to receive that boldness and they will be able to walk with your spirit as it leads them father let them be sensitized that strength from their innermost being come into them in the name of jesus christ father amen give them that strength make them know as they are hearing right now strengthen their hearts whatever condition they may be passing through father you are a wonder working god mm. work wonders in their life as they have decided and as they are making a decision in their heart holy spirit convict in their hearts a conviction that they will not depart from it, that they will stand strong and they will, their life will be led by it. Amen. And you, that God is with them will be proved to them first. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I Amen. pray, Father. Amen. Now I command poisons in your yes. bodies to be flushed out. Amen. Every poison yes. in your body yes. come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You poison, you disease. I call you by your name. Amen. You are a demon yes. out from their body. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Be flushed out from their blood. Yes, Lord. Be flushed yes, out Lord. from their bones. Yes. Now, be healed yes. in Jesus' Amen. name. Be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 We have come to the end of today's telecast. And what a wonderful time we had with you. And he will come your way in our next telecast. Don't forget, Jesus yes. is Lord. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.